The EPA and the Obama administration continue to push forward with their plans for clean energy. But one Republican senator in particular is fighting back. One America's John Hines is more from Washington. The Obama administration's EPA wants to implement its clean power plan despite a delay imposed by the Supreme Court. The EPA says the delay is temporary and has been pushing localities to proceed with the regulations. Now Oklahoma Senator Jim Inhofe, the chairman of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, has told states to ignore the EPA's persuasive tactics. I have warned the states, I uh, said, you know, don't be intimidated by the EPA and told them to just ignore it because the courts are more important than the EPA is and they have the authority to do that. The EPA is trying to say that no, this is something that's temporary, that you got to stay on schedule and do all that. We now have 29 states that are ignoring it. Inhofe says regulating instead of legislating is part of a pattern in the Obama administration. Then along comes uh, President Obama he says, as he's saying in many other areas, what we could not do with legislation, we are going to do with regulation. And so that's when the regulations come. So the clean power plan that's part of what the promise that he had, that uh, the president made when he was in Paris was to uh, reduce our emissions, CO2 emissions by 26% by uh, 2025. It can't be done. And everyone knows it can't be done. The court had a good reason to delay the EPA power plan, says Daniel Kish of the Institute for Energy Resources. The Supreme Court did an unprecedented thing earlier this summer and stayed a decision, uh, uh, stayed a regulation that the EPA is pushing under the president's global warming agenda called the Clean Power Plan. And uh, it, very costly, it's going to re reduce carbon dioxide by a third for all states, roughly. And the court said, no, hold off. But the EPA has kept pushing, says Kish. And meanwhile, the EPA has been going forward in trying to cajole, do whatever is possible to get the states to do these things now. Inhofe believes that this is an example of what he calls the Obama administration's war on fossil fuels, and that the EPA is moving ahead with its war on fossil fuels with no respect for the rule of law or the Supreme Court. John Hines, One American News, Washington.